Welcome back to Tenorshare, everyone. The iOS 18 has been released for a while now. Not many new features, but stable enough. Still, I think the iOS 18 or iPadOS 18 could be better if the Apple intelligence is all set. But we won't get it until the Apple Fall event, and according to Apple, only iPhone 15 Pro, M1 Mac, and later models will have the Apple intelligent feature. This is quite frustrating. I can't believe Apple just abandoned iPhone 15 and older iPhones like this, and also for the Mac user. I hope Apple will have some compensatory measures for those devices that can't use Apple intelligence. This is not fair for iPhone 15 and iPhone 14 and older devices. Only one or two years, then your device couldn't get the new update. What a joke! But for now, most of us can get the new Siri 2.0 UI for fun. Let me show you how. But I want to remind you, try not to use your main iPhone to do this. And only iOS 18 can do this. This is not an Apple official thing. It could be a danger to your data. If you really want to use this on your main iPhone, please back up first. First, go to your Apple account and turn off the Find My option. This is important. Then connect your iPhone to your computer. Go to kawabun.guy or copy the link from the description and download it with the correct version. Only supports Mac with Mac OS 11 and later, and Win with Windows 10 and later. Here, I will use Win as an example. Once the download is done, unzip the file and open Kawabunga Light. Now, go to forum.btaprofiles.com, search how to enable new Siri UI, or you can copy the link from the description. Scroll down and download the iOS 18 Siri file to your computer. If you are a Mac user, you can find out how to do this here pretty much the same. Go back to Kawabunga Lite and ensure the Skip Setup option is selected in the Setup Options tab. Press Win key plus R key, type this, or copy it from the website or description. Find your UUID, then go to Skip Setup. Manage Preferences, Domain, Mobile. Copy and paste the iOS 18 Plus file to this folder. Back to Kawabunga Lite, click on the Apply tab in the left column. Then click the Apply Tweaks button. Your iPhone will restart. This might take a while. And then you should see the setup screen. In the iPhone Partially Setup page, make sure you choose the Continue with Partial Setup option. Then we can continue the setup. Once get on the home page, you can use the new iOS 18 Siri now. If you want to upgrade your iPhone to iOS 18 or you didn't want to stay in iOS 18 anymore, Reiboot will be a great option for you. It could help you upgrade to iOS 18 easily and help you downgrade to iOS 17 easily without any error. Check the link in the description and feel free to give it a try. It's really cool. Unfortunately, Siri is still the old Siri. This is only a new animation, a new UI for iOS 18, Siri. This Siri didn't contain any Apple intelligence feature, still not able to do many intelligence things for you. I really hope Apple can do something for the user using iPhone under iPhone 15 Pro. I can accept this Apple intelligence slower on iPhone under 15 Pro, or more battery drain, cause more heat. But you just can't abandon us. What do you think about this Apple intelligence? Only supports iPhone 15 Pro, M1 Mac, and later model. Leave a comment. Let's talk about it.